Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Giddy Reader, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Pocketbook 360 e-reader. This is the very latest uh, edition from Pocketbook, and we're going to give you a comprehensive, hands-on review of it. You can see it looks very slick. It comes with a uh, little case. You see it has uh, nice accentuated designs. It has three buttons. This is pretty well your main navigation enter button and then you can see silver you can press in four different directions this helps you navigate it let's take a look at some of the specs it's a five inch bizplex e-ink display it is running a linux based operating system the resolution is very good for an e-reader of this size it's 800 by 600 it also has a 533 megahertz internal processor made by samsung it has 128 MB of RAM and 2 gigs of internal storage, but of course you can enhance this via the micro SD card here. You can see your power button as well as your mini USB. And you can take this off here and this just uh, protects your screen more or less. So this is your main options here. You have your settings, your calendar, notes. You can take a look at photos, everything else. Let's take a look at books. It comes preloaded with a number of books. Most of them are just like free, open source. Let's take a look at the Christmas Carol, summertime, so. You can see that the page turns are very fast. You can see we can hit the top button and the bottom button to go forward and backwards. You can see that the text displays very well. It's very, very crisp. We can also uh, enhance the text by hitting the zoom button. So if you need the text to be bigger, you can simply zoom in and zoom in some more. You can see here that there's a number of settings within the book so we can go to the contents we can search we can open to a specific page we can lock the orientation and it does do like full 360 you can also look up words in the dictionary so this is pretty handy and this is something that a lot of competing devices um, there's a lot of parallels between this device and say the jetbook mini in terms of size and design but the Jetbook Mini certainly does not have a built-in dictionary. And to exit a book, you can simply hit the exit button. And uh, there we go. We can enter the book where we left off, as well as on the top here, it sort of uh, lets you know the books that we have uh, looked at thus far. You also have news. You can configure RSS feeds from your favorite uh, blogs and hopefully our site Good E-Reader is first and foremost on your list of online destinations. You also have uh, pictures here. These are pictures that come up preloaded with the device. Uh, of course you can load in your own pictures in a JPEG format. And you can simply hook it up to your computer to do that. So you can see the Eiffel Tower. Just getting a little really big close up here. It does re look really slick and this is sort of where e-ink really shines. Being able to give you really nice pictures. Uh, with the pictures it doesn't seem like it does the 360 rotation. But at $130, I can make some compromises. Of course, you can even set up like slideshows and things like that as well. Uh, let's take a look at some of the applications. You have, of course, a web browser. You also have a calculator tool, chess, clock. Take a look at the clock. So. You can set it up to be different times. We have it on the 24-hour clock right now. 
course the data is wrong we just sort of took this out of the box let's take a look at some of the settings you can uh, go about this device languages keyboard user profiles etc so just to show you guys that we do have the 360 plus there is all of the details and semantics One of the things that we found as far as the, the connectivity goes, um, this is sort of one of the drawbacks, is that if you have um, a closed Wi-Fi network, that we encountered a lot of problems with underscores, hyphens, uh, even entering a Wi-Fi address that was all in numbers. It had a hard time finding that. The only way that we were able to open up a Wi-Fi connection was on a pure open network. So we don't know if this is uh, because of buggy firmware, whether we got a buggy device, or a, a myriad of uh, other factors. So we just wanted to let you know that we did experience some Wi-Fi problems, but once we opened up our network, there was no problems at all. Here's uh, the calendar. So it's a full, you know, every day of the month type of thing. You can go back and forward years and things like that. So the last thing I want to show you is the web browsing experience. And this is something that is uh, very cool. Uh, also sort of before I get into web browsing experience, it has to do with being online, but you can also do business with Bookland, which is Pocketbook's sort of portal to buy books. Most of it's just open source books, uh, similar to, uh, you know, Project Gutenberg and things like that. But it does allow you to, you know, to get books on a device, but because it does have a web browser, it does allow you to sort of buy books online. It's just uh, connecting to the open uh, network. Sometimes it takes actually a few minutes, even though it is uh, an open source or an open uh, internet. And it looks like that it does actually search for firmware updates. So we can't confirm this, but it does look that when you are connected via Wi-Fi, that it will push firmware updates to your device. So unlike a lot of other e-readers that you have to manually install the firmware updates via an SD card or via the mini USB to USB on your computer, but you can uh, search the internet uh, on Google here. If you uh, want to search for a specific uh, word, you do have the full keyboard that it gives you here. Sorry. Hit the search, Let's go into the search field and press the button. So you have the full pocketbook keyboard here, and you can simply input search terms. Every time you sort of press a character, it always sort of defaults back to the original positioning. So it makes typing not the easiest thing in the world to do. You can see that I'm trying to spell the word good e-reader here. And you can see that I'm, I am a fast typer, believe you me, but I wish it kind of didn't default to the middle here. And once you type it in, it appears here in the search terms. And here you go. It's your sort of full internet experience with the Pocketbook 360. Uh, all in all, we compared this e-reader to the Jetbook Mini, and heads over tails blows it away. This is a very good entry-level e-reader. Of course, Pocketbook is a really great company. Uh, they're independent, and they have released a number of really great e-readers. This is more or less a, a five-inch, very entry-level one. Retails anywhere from about $100 to $130. And the advantages that it has is that it has Wi-Fi. It can surf the internet. It reads an ungodly amount of e-reader formats for e-books. Uh, we kind of quoted them uh, for you before. And 
it is available online. It does have pretty good stats. The pictures resolute really well, but more or less you're buying this for ebooks. And as you kind of saw it when we showed you uh, reading ebooks, that it does really give you kind of crisp, crisp text and things like that. So it does switch from landscape to portrait mode relatively quickly. I'm very happy with this device. This is certainly another win with uh, Pocketbook. So we hope you've enjoyed this review. For Good E-Reader, this is Marcus, and everybody take care.